Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. As promised, today we're going to be taking a, uh, a look, closer look at Filster's new release, The Enigma, and kind of how it's going to play in, uh, obviously in, in my space, more formal carry is the, the primary interest, but obviously this works across the board. Before I jump into it real quick, uh, since we are kind of in the holiday season, I want to give a big shout out to all of the, the sponsors and supporters of the channel and of the, the page. They're linked in the description of every video. I, I don't really call them out enough. I'm going to be doing some featured videos, kind of highlighting each of them individually. But if you are shopping around for the, uh, for the shooter in your life, take a look in the description and kind of just check out what they have to offer from the holsters to the slings. Roasters Marketplace coffee is phenomenal. It's all I drink. Um, just everything down there. It's not anything that I don't use personally and I don't spend my own money on. So check it out if you're looking for a stocking stuff or possibly a more substantial gift. There's some great options and uh, some of them are affiliate links. It helps the channel out a little bit. I'll make sure that that's called out and uh, and all that jazz. But definitely check them out. They're they're worth they're worth your time and uh, it'll save a little bit of Christmas shopping. So everybody wins. Before, without any more teasing and without further ado, let's get into it because that's why you're watching this thing. Um, with a cover garment like a suit jacket, it doesn't matter what. You're, you're carrying to a degree. Yes, things need to be tailored and, and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and I'm going to 86 the suit coat. And I'm purposefully not wearing a belt uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one is with suits, you don't necessarily need to wear a belt. Um, this particular suit actually has suspender buttons. Some have side adjusters. But the idea being is that you want something that's not really going to break up your silhouette. I don't necessarily have the best physique at the moment, um, but even still, I want to make sure that the clothing that I'm wearing is creating as flattering a silhouette as possible. Um, and so even just with this, there's not really any telltale presence of a firearm. Now, I'm not going to be doing calisthenics in one of my nice suits, sorry. Uh, but Annette Evans, uh, Lee over at the Obscene Sailor, and uh, a few other folks have done some good videos on either their Instagram or things like that, highlighting the mobility and how well these things stay in place. Uh, and how well it maintains the concealment. So let's get into it. If you have watched the channel, you know where my gun is, but there's not any overt sign to it. Um, this is one of my uh, newly arrived custom shirts from Adam Ross Custom. So shout out to him. If you are in the greater Houston area and you're looking for some customer bespoke clothing, definitely hit him up. But that's not what we are watching for. This is, and so I'll actually go ahead and just take, you know, open this up so that that way you get a better feel for it. Um, and again, I'm not about to do a hyper aggressive draw stroke with one of my nice shirts. But the reason that I picked this is because it's a fairly lightweight performance fabric. So the fact that even under this, a solid light color, which is one of the least forgiving in terms of printing, my full size Glock 19 with a red dot is still concealing just fine. Now, I'm not gonna take my pants off on camera, so uh, for those like two or three freak shows of you that were hoping for that, sorry, but for the rest of you, you're welcome. The What I will do is I'm going to just kind of show you how I've got everything situated. I've got the Enigma. Basically, my belly button is here. And 
so I've got the belt riding just below my navel and as I commented it has kind of the, the happy side effect of cinching in my unfortunately doughy midsection at the moment but this is where I typically wear it. My ribs are right here so there's still some kind of soft material underneath I can bend and I can move without there being any real problem in terms of it jabbing or poking or what have you. It is riding a little bit higher than if I were to run it on my actual belt line. You can see it's probably about three quarters of an inch to an inch higher. Um, and I think the fact that I've got it tucked into this soft section under the rib cage, the fact that thankfully I am still <laughs> wider at the chest than everywhere else, as my clothing drapes, it falls in front of everything. Um, I'm not going to give a close up of the leg leash because, you know, again, uh, just really nobody wants to see a close up of my junk on camera. When they say that the leg leash should go around the upper thigh, that's really kind of what they mean is the upper thigh. So, to give you an idea, the leg leash is right about here. My pelvic crease is right in here. If you're wearing normal boxer briefs, for me what I found is that the leg leash works best kind of about halfway up from the hem of your drawers. You don't want it riding kind of where tidy whities would, but you also don't want it at the midsection of your quadricep either. So for dress clothing, I think this is a wonderfully viable option. What I'm going to do is um, I'll put together just a dedicated short video of what my draw to first shots are with an untucked cover garment versus a tucked one. That way we can get kind of an appreciable difference of what you're giving up or what accommodations you'll have to make whenever you start running this in this configuration. But before we wrap up, there's one other thing that I want to take a look at because I don't live my life in suits. So I want to just highlight the versatility of this real quick. So uh, we're going to be right back. So if I'm just running errands or if I'm like running to dance class or we just came off of Thanksgiving, I'm lounging around the house for a four day weekend. This is typically what I'm wearing. And it's these, I think, discontinued uh, pants from Duluth Trading. They're again, kind of a performance fabric, but they've got slashed pockets and a zipper. So they look like normal pants, uh, but they're a lot more comfy like sweatpants. Um, and just, a, this is a, I think a Croft and Barrow Henley from uh, JC Penney. And again, there's not any overt, I mean, you've got a little bit of a crease right there that I'm kind of accentuating with the shadow. But as I just go about my normal day, as long as I maintain my posture and don't get lazy and let my gut stick out, um, I haven't run into any problems with this yet either. Now, yes, just because somebody didn't say anything doesn't mean somebody doesn't see something. That being said, you have the added benefit of, number one, not dressing like somebody that carries a gun, and number two, there's no signature on the belt line at all. Aside from the fact that the holster's neon green, there's no major tells. Now again, with this, even a few squats and the fall of the shirt hasn't really changed. All you're seeing is the drape kind of coming off my chest. So there's a big, big advantage to this. I'm going to put up a couple photos of uh, the other night when my wife and I were at a function to kind of highlight the, uh, the point of this. And there's one more that I want to take a look at because I haven't tried this yet. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I figured this way we can kind of all learn together. Hang tight. Okay. 
This is probably the most obnoxiously schmedium shirt that I own right now. Um, the only reason why it even got worn the other day was it was a Christmas event, and this is the only Christmas colored shirt that I've got. Now, because of the lighting, you can see the grip of this pretty well. Um, so I don't think that this would necessarily pass muster. Uh, I think it's going to be definitely a little too overt given everything, but sometimes the camera picks up detail that the eye doesn't. Um, I did not wear the Enigma with this the other day, but even still with as freaking painted on as this thing is, the fact that it's as minimal as just the grip and the magwell ain't bad. I'm not saying that this is acceptable concealment. By my standards, it definitely ain't. But um, with a traditional holster, it would have been worse because there would have been a lot more bulging at the belt line and things like that. So two out of three ain't bad, especially given the fact that this shirt is tighter than acceptable to be properly fitting. Um, so the other big advantage to this from a just convenience standpoint is whenever you're staging this up, all you got to do is put your shirt on like normal, butt your pants like normal, and you're done. You know, I was actually debating putting together a video on how I stage my tuckable clips because it's a freaking process. There's no easy way to do it. You know, personally, I get the shirt tail going and then I unzip my fly, I reach in, grab the shirt tail, and then kind of seat it down so that it's not all bunched up. And yeah, I mean, you get tired jacking around with it. So from a convenience standpoint, this is infinitely better. From a concealment standpoint, I think this offers a lot more versatility. And, you know, I'm certainly not the only one. Now, I'm not going to say that John or Sarah are good friends of mine, but from the standpoint that I don't have their phone numbers in my, in, you know, I don't have their numbers in my, in my contact list, but we are associates. Uh, we are friendly. We are social. And we run a lot of the same circles. So, you know, there is a personal relationship there. That being said, I paid full price for this. So it's not like that is swaying my decision any. Um, I have an affinity for Filster's products. I have an affection for uh, John's take and what he's trying to do, but um, there's not any relationship outside of that that's swaying my decision. So this is just very high level. There's going to be a lot more experimentation that is going to be required to get this dialed in perfectly. Um, I'd be interested to know what your questions are. So please, by all means, throw them in the description down below. If there's a certain configuration that you'd like to see this uh, kind of experimented in, let me know. And I'll, if I've got the ability to, I'll, I'll give it a shot and we'll, we'll go from there. So I uh, hope everybody has a great week. Um, happy hunting. If you are on the wait list for these, best of luck to you. And if you miss out on those, just hang tight. He's cranking them out as quickly as possible. So everybody stay safe. Have a great week. And I will catch you next time. Take care.